Hello, Ryan here, aka Matt, and welcome. In this video, I go through the roadmap each week, letting you know what has changed. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members who allow me to make these kinds of videos, in particular to my latest patron, Seiki. Thank you so much for the support. It is all very much appreciated. So last night, CIG released a new build to the live uh, branch, which wasn't a 3.11.1, it was a 3.11.0b, stating that they have added logging into this build to help track down issues players are experiencing with losing their Moby Glass or missing their heads while switching out armors. It is great to see that they are specifically targeting some of the more troublesome and serious issues. Hopefully they can fix these ASAP because they do sound a little game breaking. I didn't know that was an issue. Uh, anyway, other testing focus is just general gameplay and arena commander match end crashing. 3.11.0b brought with it some bug fixes, which were ships now should be able to lift off in decoupled mode. They have temporarily disabled chest armor inventory on environmental suits to fix the issue that was allowing people to infinitely resell FPS mineables. Now, I did notice that bug the other day and I sold them once and didn't do it again because they have stated that if people find exploits, then they may need to wipe their accounts individually or at the very least, just remove that cash if they can do so. So do be careful if you're using exploits, as it could lead to an account wipe. Anyway, they've also fixed an issue that was causing players who brought large amounts of ammunition unable to equip any of them. So now you can equip them. This was a bug that I think was addressed in Star Citizen Live yesterday. Security AI should spawn correctly and engage the players with specific crime stat levels. I'm assuming this is mostly relating to around space stations where they removed the green zones. And clients should no longer crash upon arena commander match cycles, plus two client crash fixes and two backend server crash fixes. Now there was 23 known issues, so still quite a lot of fixing needed to be done. Hopefully they will get to that for maybe a 3.11.1 or a 3.11.0c. I'm assuming they've gone with the 3.11.0b rather than a 1 because it's not a super significant fix and maybe they're wanting to bring the Star Runner with 3.11.1. We don't know yet. Anyway, I'm talking about the Star Runner, the Mercury Star Runner. There is actually no change this week in terms of its tasks. It is still at 108 out of 116. So eight tasks still to go. Will we see this in October? I am hopeful, but time is definitely ticking by. And as I've been mentioning in previous videos, once we reach 30,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway of the Star Runner uh, once it becomes available to buy. So do keep an eye out for that one and make sure you are subscribed. Swiftly on to 3.12 and gameplay, station-based refining is at 81% complete, with 56 out of 69 tasks being done. Three were completed since the last change, which was the uh, 3rd of October, so one has been added, but 13 now to go. Very much looking forward to this for the end of the year, being able to refine items that we have mined with our prospectors. It's going to be quite nice. Uh, object push and pull is at 67% complete with 8 out of 12 tasks being done. One has been completed since last week and 4 now remain. And then elevator panels are at 31% complete with 4 out of 13 tasks being done. One was completed last week, 9 still to go. The more that I use these old elevators with uh, floating white text, the more I do actually look forward to and will appreciate these new updates to the panels. For weapons and items, the, there is only one change here. The Greycat multi-tool tractor beam is at 43% complete with 6 out of 14 tasks being done. One was completed since last we heard, which was actually September the 12th, uh, so 8 still to go. It is going to be a lot of fun having this tractor beam and seeing what we can use it for. Hopefully it'll help with cargo hauling and maybe throwing people around. That might be fun. Anyway, that is it for this video. I'm glad to see they are addressing some of these bugs and fixing them up, but it's a big shame that there has been no movement on the Star Runner this week. But as I say, as soon as it does come and we get it in game, as soon as we hit that 30,000 subscriber mark, I will give one away. So make sure you are subscribed. If you would like to be notified every time my video to go live, do tick that notification bell. And if you don't mind, drop me a like on the video. It does help the channel out. And if you want to chat more about Star Citizen, we always have a great time over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. Everybody is welcome, whether you're a new backer or an old backer. It is always a good laugh over there. Thank you again to my patrons and channel members for all of your support. It is all very much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.